The digestive system. Digestion is the process of converting food into a form that can be assimilated by the body. We're really interested in this more so than what we're going in this morning so that we can eat foods to make healthy hair, skin, and nails. And a lot of clients come to us with nails that are real flimsy. And some of that is hereditary and some of it's because they're not eating properly or they're not digesting their food properly. The digestive system changes food into soluble form that is suitable for use by the cells of the body. Digestion begins in the mouth and is completed in the small intestine. From the mouth, the food passes down the pharynx and the esophagus, or food pipe, and then into the stomach. The food is completely digested in the stomach and small intestine and is assimilated or absorbed into the bloodstream. The large intestine, or colon, stores the refuse for elimination through the rectum. The complete digestive process of food takes about nine hours. Responsible for the chemical changes in the food are the enzymes, which are present in our digestive secretions. As a matter of fact, it is present in our saliva as we chew the food. It begins to break the food down into a soluble form. Digestive enzymes are chemicals that change certain kinds of food into a form capable of being used by the body. Intense emotions, excitement, and fatigue seriously disturb digestion. On the other hand, happiness and relaxation promote good digestion. We also know that working in the beauty shop sometimes causes us to have poor digestion because we don't eat regular meals and we don't eat the food we need to. Respiratory system. The respiratory system enables breathing or respiration and consists of the lungs and air passages. The lungs are spongy tissues composed of microscopic cells in which ex inhaled air is exchanged for the carbon dioxide during one breathing cycle. The respiratory system is located within the chest cavity and is protected on both sides by the ribs. We sit in here sometime and we get to yawning. We feel like we're getting sleepy and we are because of a lack of oxygen because we start doing what they call costal breathing or shallow breathing. And when we yawn, if we'll <laughs> sit up straight and take a real deep breath and let it out slowly, we'll quit yawning. And that's the sleepiness comes from lack of oxygen. Also during cold weather, really during any type of weather, it's healthier to breathe through your nose than through your mouth because the hairs in the nose helps to stop some of the bacteria and other things that enter. But every few minutes, take a deep breath so that you get the oxygen you need, especially when you're in the classroom setting. The respiratory system is located within the chest cavity and is protected on both sides by the ribs. The diaphragm is a muscular wall that separates the thorax from the abdominal region and helps control breathing. Something it doesn't tell us here, and we just went over the digestive system, the diaphragm is also a petition between the digestive system and the re respiratory system. And if it becomes damaged, then sometimes our intestines want to go into our respiratory system. It doesn't work too well. With each breathing cycle, an exchange of gases takes place. During inhalation or breathing in, oxygen is absorbed into the blood. During exhalation, or breathing outward, carbon dioxide is expelled from the lungs. Oxygen is more essential than either food or water. People may survive 60 days without food, a few days without water, but if they're deprived of oxygen, they will die in a few minutes. Which means if you're a little bit tired of somebody, just hold the pillar over their face. It, it won't take long. <laughs> Star starving them out, long, long process. Questions? Questions? 